What's going on everyone? Got a brand new Blu-ray review for you guys today. And with this drum set, you probably think I'd be reviewing Whiplash. I'm not. Little film earlier this year called Ant-Man and the Wasp, and today I'm gonna be discussing the Blu-ray review, and thank you to Finger Paint Film for sending me this and this early copy to be reviewing. I love this little drum set. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it, so let's just place it over here while I talk about this Blu-ray. Uh, same thing of how these Blu-ray reviews go. They're very informal, very unedited, but they, it's nice to revisit these films and a little bit discuss them, because I do see almost every single film in the theaters, and I, it's fun to revisit them and get my different thoughts. Did my thoughts change? Do they not, if you caught my earlier review of Ant-Man the Wasp earlier this year, I said it was fun. I actually said it might be better than the first one. Now, upon revisiting this, this is my second time viewing this movie, I will say the first one is definitely better. I did a back-to-back -back feature with this, and the first one is definitely the stronger film within the heist elements, within the story structure, within all that, but Ant-Man the Wasp is probably the one that has the better character dynamics and character arcs than it has. It doesn't have the best story or fluid story to it, not the best villain either, and some of the action sequences are pretty cool. I think they're kind of on par with the first one as well. Nothing super memorable as the Thomas the Tank Engine scene, but there are also some fun moments in here with the shooting and making things big and large and just playing with those dynamics. It's kind of have a... It's kind it's kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, just in a superhero form, and I love that Ant-Man and the Wasp really plays with that. Now, Peyton Reed, the director, also plays with that well, but again, this is still a fun watch. It's funny, it's entertaining, and there's really only one character in here that you could have just thrown out completely and I would have been completely fine with, which sucks to say because I love this actor, and that's Walter Goggins. For me, he is completely wasted in here. He does have a couple funny scenes in here, but it just never felt like he was needed to be in the story. I think one of the strongest parts about Ant-Man and the Wasp is easily the character arcs in here. I mean, this is really much a father-daughter story between two different parallels. You have Hank Pym and his daughter, who is now the Wasp. Angelina Lily does such a fantastic job, and she steals the whole entire film, but then you also have Paul Rudd's character, Scott Lang, dealing with growing up and having his daughter, Cassie Lang, also grow up and seeing their dynamics too. It's one of the most great parallels to see within this movie, and it's one of the few MCU films that really touches on these smaller aspects of living in their family lives. I know Hawkeye's kind of touched on it well, but we've never really seen it before in an MCU film until this date, and that's one of the things that I love about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Again, this is a very self-contained story, and this is the Blu-ray review. How does it hold up at home? Not just within the story and the character dynamics. Well, let me tell you, the video quality is magnifique. I am definitely going to be upgrading to the 4K version this Tuesday, October 16th, when both the Blu-ray and the 4K versions both come out. One of the most beautiful things about this is this film has so many different colors. It kind of reminds me, it has some moments of Doctor Strange's vibes in there, and I really want a 4K version of Doctor Strange, but it just comes off so clean and fresh, and I love the look of it. My god, if you have a sound bar or an awesome set around you with tons of sounds, the audio is great. I will go as far as say, I think this is some of the best audio that Disney has had a transferred into back home on the Blu-ray and 4K. One of the best parts about this Blu-ray, in my opinion. I think the audio is definitely one of the strongest things. Now we come to the last thing of the Blu-ray, which I'm usually not the biggest fan of these, but it's the special features. How many special features we got on here? There's quite a few. Um, nothing huge. Nothing like Avengers Infinity War where you have to listen to that director's commentary and you get more insight, but there are a couple nice things that I do want to mention. The cool things in here is the director's intro by Peyton Reed and the way that he discusses this dynamics with Hope and even with Scott Lang being kind of just that every man of the MCU. I love that type of thing that they throw into this. With Ant-Man and the Wasp being one of the funniest films in the MCU, it's definitely worth a watch to check out the gag retakes and the outlet takes. It, it's just, it's fun to see how much fun they were having on set, especially with all the other actors, especially even Walter Goggins again, who I didn't think needed to be in here. It's nice to see him actually having fun with how dark his character was in here. For all of you missed Ant-Man and the Wasp in theaters, I cannot recommend this film enough. Do pick it up on October 16th. If you're a fan of Ant-Man, if you're a fan of the MCU, this is definitely a film for you. If you're not a huge superhero fan, I don't think this will change your mind about anything. I think you can appreciate some of the aspects in it, but I don't think again that it will like mind-blowingly awesome to make you convert to being a superhero fanatic. There are definitely better superhero films, but if you're just looking for a very entertaining time that's gonna make you smile make you laugh and just want to shrink down to the size of ant or as big as a giant like goliath you're this is the film that you're gonna want to pick up you're gonna walk out of this film going man 
Angeline Lilly as the Wasp needs her own solo film or something with that, even though this kind of is the main character in here. I adored Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's a great addition to the MCU, and I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below. So let's talk about it down below. What are your guys' thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp? Are you guys excited for this Blu-ray release? Are you guys going to be picking it up? Are you going to be picking up the 4K? Because again, like I said, I am for sure upgrading to the 4K version as well. I love having Blu-rays and 4Ks to be able to lend this out, let other people check it out as well. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens even check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay classy